What's going on guys? Today we have episode number 32 of the I Rate Your Team series. Over 10,000 views again on this tweet. Over, I think we had just under 100 submissions this week. But it does make sense. Last week was an interesting week. It was the first week in like the first in like the last 10 weeks where I didn't do a bonus episode because there were so many of just the same team over and over and over and over again. So today I'm not really too sure how we're going to attack this video. But all I know is if you do want to be a part of episode number 33, make sure you're following me on Twitter. And all you're going to want to do is reply to this tweet that goes up every single Friday. The episodes, of course, go up Sunday and Monday. So, uh, yeah, that's all you got to do. Follow me on Twitter, stick around for this tweet every single Friday, and you have a chance to get your team rated. It's that easy. And recently, there has been some comments about how I've been kind of looking at the same names. I don't think these are a lot of the same names. I don't, I don't recognize a lot of these names near the top right now, and usually the way Twitter organizes it is actually people that I follow, so it does make sense that that was happening, but these names actually don't look familiar. So I'm going to try to get through these teams pretty quick. First up, we got a Falcons theme team, 99, Tony G, Dion. They, uh, oh, wait. Gonna add, sorry, wait. He, he doesn't have them yet. He's gonna add Tony G and Dion when they become more affordable. Okay, so Falcons theme team. Obviously, you can get, yeah, 90, wait. No, not 99 speed. 98, no, yeah, you can get 99 speed. Yeah, 99 speed, Tony Gonzalez. Uh, you have Showcase here with Universal Cover, which of course is amazing. Jo Joey Porter, 99 speed. Mike Vick, this card does play very well. To me, the only issue is that He's not on par with these other cards ability wise so i know you're saving coins but the best move would probably be to keep back actually keep vic run him over run him over joey porter and then put Dion sanders on the other side that'd be a pretty good you know group of corners and in the secondary you have ryan neal on the theme team jesse bates on the theme team leanne sandcastle on the theme team mike off edge which is really nice and then on offense mike vic gus edwards julio drake london roddy white with kyle pitts what, what do i rate a team like this because this team like what like this is my this is my question for you guys how do i rate a team like this i feel like every team is is, is a 10 really i mean this team isn't a 10 he doesn't have some of the more top tier cards you know randy moss Deion sanders the team isn't a 10 but this team's like a 9-7 right it seems like a 9-7 9-6 i think it's definitely maybe a little bit lower it's like joey porter but joey porter like even though he's a lower overall card he's still good because of this plus one strat card it just makes more players usable and again, it, it just leads to more higher ranking. So I guess it's kind of inevitable for the for at least the time being, unless they do something crazy with abilities or go over 100 stats for now. It's just kind of going to be like this. So I'm going to go like a 9-6, 9-7 here for Go Dogs team. And Falcons team, all, all you can really say is, yeah, go get Tony G, go get Dion, and you'll be a lot better. Definitely a 10 potential, though. Next up, 98 overall Saints theme team. Okay, top three to Mario Davis with Crusher and Lurker. Ken Stabler with only Gunslinger. Okay, wait, never mind. You're running Drew Brees. Okay, so you're running the little 2QB scheme here. Stabler, of course, free gunslinger. So Drew Brees, Tony Pollard, the Saints legend, Odell Beckham Saint legend. Uh, with Michael Thomas, who I think it's 98 speed, which is actually pretty good. 98 speed, Michael Thomas. Very good. Keenan Allen, 99. Taysom Hill at fullback. Does he get 99? Does Taysom? Taysom might get 90, 98. I don't remember. Taysom Hill. Oh, Taysom Hill's got 97 speed base? Damn, he rips. Okay. Okay, he goes crazy. So 99 speed fullback. You're running deep out and your fullback is nasty. Just a nasty thought. Obviously, Gronk, Taysom Hill. Offensive line looks really good. And on defense, we got Deion Sanders, Tracy Porter, Darius Slade, Jordan Poyer, CJ Gardner Johnson, the Maniac, the Mario, the Darius with Marcus Williams as well. So honestly, yeah, I mean, this team, I don't really know how you could get better. That's the thing. Again, I'm kind of going back to you have Deion. These receivers, I mean, he's 5'11", he's 6'3", but 98 speed's still good. Keenan Allen, 6'2", 99 speed. Another good-looking team. If there was one thing I would try to improve on, I think there are better receivers in this game than Keenan Allen. So maybe try to upgrade Keenan. But I'm going to go with a 9, let's go with a 9-8 for this squad, just because I'm not too fond. I'll go 9-7 again, because... But again, like, you got to keep, like, if you're running a Saints team, you want to use Saints players, right? So... That's why he's running Breeze. It's probably, it's probably why he's using Michael Thomas as well. It does get a little bit choppy for sure. Uh, for sure, it definitely does. Maybe we get like a Reggie Bush this year at some point for the running back. But um, I think definitely upgrading over Keenan Allen is definitely the move. I'm going to go with a 9-7 for this squad. Okay, I said I was going to go faster in this video, and I've gone through two teams in about four minutes, five minutes. So let's rip here. All right, another Saints team. We're not going to... Wait, no, this is the same team. Sorry, I'm a little uncalibrated. 40 Legends. 
I'll start doing Legends teams again uh, because, again, they're like every team's kind of good now. But of course, we're gonna try to speed run this. Uh, Randy still using Julian Edelman's crazy. Is he like the only free slotto in the game? Is that why you're running Edelman? Is that is that like why you're kind of that's how he spells it? It's Edel. Man, there you go. Who is that? Wait, who is this? Clayton Fajimijim? Bro, this guy looks like a glitch, for real. All right, Julian Edelman, though. Let's stay on track here. Stay focused. He is him and Calvin and Julio, Thielen. Okay, yeah, I would probably definitely take Thielen over him. Julio as well, but the only problem for you is that they don't get all 32, or uh, they don't get Legends theme teams, uh, theme, theme team cams, which does make sense. Um, and where are you spending all this AP? 3 AP on Mike Allstott? Is that really necessary? Is 3 AP on Mike Allstott really necessary? It feels almost as if you have too many good cheap ability players and you're just saying, you know what? Mike Allstott kind of deserves 3 AP. If that's the case, then I think you can definitely get a better legend um, slot receiver. This guy said, he ain't rating this one low, bro. No one cares about legends teams anymore. It's somewhat true because a lot of these players don't even need the chems to get to 99 speed, right? A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. And at this point, I think running your favorite team with some of your favorite players and you have the free agency strat card with, with your theme team you could definitely really build whatever team you want even like the texans maybe the only teams like even the Bengals kind of got some love recently though they might be able to go crazy now so on to the next squad we got a full steelers team with the window glare gonna get barry when i have enough too because i love his cards okay barry's good i, I really did enjoy the barry card sutton 99 speed mel blunt 99 porter 99 troy palomalu is not 99 i think he's 98 speed minka 99 high smith Nolan Smith, 99 speed, of course. And then over here, we got George Piggins, Justin Jefferson, Edelman with Jerome Bettis and Ken Stabler. Um, why do I see so much Edelman, though? Is there a reason why I see so much Edelman? I feel like I see a lot of Edelman. I don't get why. I don't get why I see so much Edelman, especially... I mean, that last guy made sense. He's a Legends team. But even on teams where like I feel like Edelman doesn't fit, I still see so much Edelman. And I, I, don't, I can't understand it. So this team, I'm going to give it... Let's give it about like a 9... Three. Nine three here for this Steelers team. Let's keep moving. Uh, Eagles theme team again has that crazy potential because they benefit from Carmichael on a theme team. You can get 99. Wait, yeah, 99 speed Carmichael, which is just stupid. Six foot eight, 99 speed. You have AJ Brown, you have Randy Moss on the theme team. I mean, not on a theme team, but on your team, 99 speed Tony Pollard. Uh, Randall Cunningham, of course, at quarterback, which is who's really good. Offensive line looks good. And then if we head over here, Darius Slay, who actually was an Eagle. With Kendall Fuller, who gets crazy abilities. Asante Samuel, Eagle Legend. Jordan Poyer, Eagle Legend, of course. Um, Brian Dawkins, Kazir White, Fred Warner. Dude, Eagles Dean team is crazy. Like, Eagles Dean team would still be so good, even if there wasn't this many, like, all 32 team chem guys. Like, like take a look at this team. Like, there's so many, like, actual Eagles on this team. Like, Tony Pollard, he, he could probably get, like, another 99 speed running back. You know, Gus could be there for him, for example. Gus 98 speed could be there. Um, but I mean, Eagles team is just crazy. I think this team, can we toss them a 10? I think, I think this team's a 10. I'm going to give them a 10. I'm giving them a 10 for the full Eagles team. Next up, we got Sauce God's team, uh, 3.4 mil, 3.5 mil, sorry. Training in the binder for Easter. A million of that money sell for coins when Easter promo drops. Honestly, just looking to pick up Cowboys when they drop. Um, I also have a free UL with loyalty tokens waiting. Okay. Cowboys team. I like that. Odell, Cowboy Legend, Pollard, Herbert, top two QB in the game right now. CD Lamb, we got Carmichael, same thing as the Eagles, where he benefits from a plus two, but potentially plus three speed boost, which is really good. And then you have Deion Sanders, Perry Williams, who's a kind of a slept on card. I mean, he's six foot two as a corner. I feel like people may have chose Asante. But hopefully you chose Perry Williams. He's the better corner out of the ring, ring of honor supporting cast. Xavier Rhodes, super slept on card, especially on a theme team. However, I would much rather see you with I think I'd much rather see you with Universal than his own KO. If you can run both, that's great. Because then even when the X Factor is off, it still works. KO still works. But if you're going to run Xavier Rhodes, I know the Zone Hawk is free. But the thing is, Universal coverage is just so much better that you should probably just run that. That's my thoughts on the whole ability. Ryan Neal is the user probably. Darren Woodson, an absolute monster. Leon Sandcastle on the team as well. With Mike off the edge, 99 speed. Charles Haley off the edge. And I'm going to go back to back 10s here, man. For the Eagles and the Cowboys teams, in my opinion, two of the top three, and maybe even two of the top two theme teams right now in the game. Next up, full Colts. Any suggestions? Okay, so probably there probably won't be. Alec Pierce. Is this, what is this card? I'll be honest. I know Alec Pierce might be like six foot four or something like that. 
I think he's six foot four. Alec Pierce, six foot three, 99 speed. So he's kind of like the Alan Lazard of the Jets team as well. It was what it, it's what it's kind of looking like. But hey, dude, deep bound and route tech's crazy tough. And you can give him slot O, and that's pretty good. Damn. I'm not sure what else you have on him, but that's a really good. That's this card's good. Paris Campbell, 99 speed. I think he's six foot. Bolden, you have Gus. Yep, run Gus. Uh, Lamar at QB. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you like the way if you like, if you like the way Lamar plays, good. Go for it. He's obviously very good. Um, I like I like McNair a lot, though. I will say that even though McNair does not get um, that doesn't get the Colts cams, McNair still gets plus two speed. I figured that out today after I recorded the video. If you give McNair, if you just put two X Ultimate Legend cams on McNair, he gets an additional plus one speed. So that means. Um, what is McNair speed? 95 base. So that means with the free agency strat card and the ultimate legend cam, that's 97 speed on Steve McNair with a two AP potential for the big three on it on an ability setup is just insane. Offensive line looks good to me though. And then we got Xavier Rhodes here on the theme team. Again, the zone hog looks to be very popular, but please run universal. It is the best X factor besides probably freight train in the game right now. And it is worth paying for uh, you have Gilly, you have Eric Allen. Okay. So here I would definitely look for someone else outside of Eric Allen. Um, maybe even like a top tier option. I mean, now you guys have uh, Cromarty, so look for him. I know he probably wasn't out when you sent this, but Cromarty now, Nick Cross going the theme team, Poirier going the theme team. So I'm gonna give this team about a nine, about a nine, five, nine, six, but definitely a pretty solid looking Colts team. Uh, full Legends, where he did a Legends team today, but this one did look nutty. Yeah, okay. Th this is just a no. Uh, eh. I mean, Asante's got good KOs. That's the thing about Asante. Asante's got good KOs. Height isn't really that crazy, if the way, like how broken KOs are. So, this team's probably just going to be a 10. I mean, there's no way it's really not. Barry, Herbert, all these guys. On a Legends team, though, low-key again, McNair, because then you have potential for plus three speed on him. So, I'd probably go McNair over Herbert, honestly. Next up, we got Paul's team, full Eagles team. It'll probably be another... Wait, what did he What did he say? Uh, a new DK to come out. Loki looking for new safeties, but none none interest me as much. Okay, so Eagles team. Again, this is like an, this is an example of a theme team that I'm looking at. And I'm like, this is not really an Eagles team. How are you gonna have an Eagles team and not use Carmichael? I think for that reason, I gotta, I gotta give you like a six. How are we gonna have an Eagles team and not use Harold Carmichael? Yeah, I don't like this. E uh, Eagles team is tough to mess up. I'm just, I mean, I'm sure this team's team is good. But something about this just disturbs me, and I need to get out of here quick. Something about this team, I'm sure it's a great squad, but something about this just makes me sick. Okay, let's continue. Full Giants theme team, still got to get the Scottish Hammer and Tuck center card. Also got Derwin at my sub linebacker. Okay, so Saquon, Saquads, Stabler. I know, yeah, I mean, look, I see your coin count, but Giants theme team, if you're a Giants fan, go get Daniel Jones, man. This might be one of the very few times. I mean, Daniel Jones cards are always good in mud because they have good speed, he's good size good accuracy stats so Daniel Jones to me is like a top four QB in the game right now like he's not that much worse than Ken Stabler in my opinion uh we got Herman Moore on the theme team I like this Evan Ingram at wide receiver with Odell who was actually a giant which is nice O'Lime now nah, he was actually a giant he's actually a giant he does get Giants chems and John Madden's of course a legend and then Dion Giant legend you have Sauce Garner Perry Williams and of course with Lawrence Taylor being a lifelong giant and how like the whole supporting cast system worked they got a bunch of good supporting cast players, and I'm actually a big fan of this team. I really am. I don't know where you would really get better. I mean, Sauce, Acrobat can definitely play the slot and go crazy. Dion with crazy KOs. Perry Williams, good size. Justin Tuck. Like you said, Scottish Hammer's not on the team, and also center, uh, you know, Tuck would be nice. And I guess if you add those two guys, it would definitely make it a 10. But Giants theme team, getting a really good boost from that Lawrence Taylor Ring of Honor inductee card because they got a bunch of you know first of all two good edge rushers right here not even that not like they needed it i mean they had jpp they had justin tuck uh jalen jalen smith's a good user good corners of course now with uh, perry williams and Dion. so yeah giants theme team got fed during ring of honor for sure so i'm gonna give this team about a nine eight um but it's very close to a 10 very close next up we have one of the worst pictures i think ever submitted from hunter and his name is i love swift that explains a lot now I, now I understand why this guy took one of the worst pitches of all time. Swift probably put him up to this. He definitely did. Um, but okay, this team, Steve McNair, no theme team, I don't think. But again, you don't really need a theme team right now. You really don't need one with that free agency strat card. I think running a guy like Herman Moore is a little tough, but 
you know, you could definitely do it. So 98 speed, six foot four, Herman Moore, 99 speed, Justin Jefferson, 99 speed, Tyree Kill, 98 speed, Gus Edwards, most likely if he has strat cards, which I'm assuming that everyone does. But uh, Gronk, no theme team. Okay, just not seeing backups makes me sick. This not seeing backups make me kind of sick. This guy's also a grinder, level 29. With Deion Sanders, Jalen Watson, Sauce Gardner, Ricky Jackson off an edge. Uh, Porsche off the edge with Darren Woodson, uh, Eric Berry, Adrian Key, Rodrigo. I'm going to give this team, again, theme teams. Non-theme teams got super es uh, escalated. Yeah, being able to run non-theme teams. That timetable got escalated by the free agency strat card. I couldn't get that thought out. I hope I hopefully I formulated that right. So um, you could obviously run them now. You know, you definitely can. He's got Scottish Hammer and Legatron looking beautiful. So I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give this team out a nine five. Nine five for this squad. Uh, next up we got big big Drewski rocking a full Saints team. Our third Saints team, our third Saints team of the day. Sorry, can't talk. All eight linebackers don't play but for except for special teams. I use the sub linebackers. Okay, so Saints, Jerry Rice. All right, so no Saints receivers. We got Taysom Hill, but again, still 99 speed all across the board right there. No, 90, 98 speed Jerry Rice, but Jerry still plays well. Drew Brees at QB. Honestly, I'm very confused as to how you're only 50 out of 50. Maybe the defense goes crazy. Defense. I'm very surprised that you're not, like, you're not way more than 50-50. Maybe you're just not running a lot of strat cards. Maybe it's right here with Nick Bosa, Tony. Oh, the team looks solid. Team definitely looks solid. I mean, this is again like a 9-6. I'm gonna give let me give this team out a 9-6. Let's continue. Next up, another Steelers team. Again, uh, we'll quick we'll kind of quickly get through this one. Uh this team? Good Steelers got a good old line, man. I will say that for sure. They got two two ULs. Mel Blunt got crazy speed. Fineca is still still an absolute monster for me. Um, they look good. Okay, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this team again probably like a nine four nine five. Let's go with that. Uh, full Chiefs team and Chiefs is that other team I was talking about with the who was it the 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 Eagles and the Cowboys. Also, the Packers are still up there because they're able to boost quad father speed, which is of course really nice. But uh, Odell Beckham, Chief Legend, Kadarius Tony, Marcus Vada Scanley. And running running uh, Tyreek over Kadarius definitely does confuse me a little bit, but I'll respect it. Tony Pollard, Mahomes on the theme team. Travis Kelsey, good old line, of course. Defense, Jalen Watson, Trent McDuffie, Deion Sanders, Frank Clark, Jordan Poyer, Leon Sandcastle, Lawrence Taylor, Fred Warner, Mike Singletary. Um, and then here is the special team. So I'm going to give... I'm going to give this Chiefs team, they got some offensive line help. Of course, you have Dion too. There's really no holes on this team. Again, like Kadarius Tony's got 99 speed. He's like, I think he might be six foot, 5'11". You have a deep threat option. Red zone threat on Kadarius. Odell's a monster. Running back looks good. You have a tight end. That's good. Uh, you have three good corners. Really four good corners, honestly. Five good corners with Poyer. Two good safeties. A good edge rushers. A good user. I mean, how is this team not a 10? You know what I mean? Like how, that, that's, that, that's a 10 right there. That right there's a 10. Okay, 50-50 Raiders about the average God squad nowadays. Dude, everyone has good teams. Like this is like literally the first time ever in the I Raider team series where every single team is amazing. Like nine, nine, nine. Even earlier in the year, you still you still see the potential like the every once in a while, maybe like a seven and a half. But now it's just nine and a half, nine and a half, and 10, nine and a half, nine and a half, 10, 10, 10, but Again, this is going to be your average God squad right here. You have Carmichael, 97 speed. Jerry Rice, 99 speed. Randy Moss, 99 speed. Gus, 98 speed. Justin Herbert, crazy discounted abilities. Tony G. <laughs> Damn, Ring of Honor, Tony G. Uh, we got Ring of Honor, Dion. We got Darius Slay. We have Showcase on the on the Raiders theme team. Darren Woodson doesn't need a theme team. 99 speed. Eric Berry over the top, too. So, yeah, another 10 here, man. Another 10. Back-to-back -back 10s. Can we go back-to-back-to-back? Niners team so the Niners theme team was just missing wide receivers and they got them in a big way this week So I was definitely looking forward to at least seeing a Niners team. We got Randy Moss, Odell Beckham, Jerry Rice, Gus the Buzz So offensively you're crazy uh, and Then you have Jordan Poyer, rising star Tala, Tala, Taleona Hufanga Not running him, but uh, Sandcastle with these guys. Okay, I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give this team about a 9-8 I'm going to go with a 9-8. I'm not a big fan of the Poyer card. 
I'm gonna go the nine eight here, but if it's very close to full potential Niners, it's very close. But this is a good looking squad, man. I'm gonna go nine eight nine nine for this team. Nine eight nine nine. Next up, what are we at right now? I think we have a little bit more time. I think we have gone over a little bit. We're gonna finish on Sam Dog's team though. Bucks team team. Minka hiding as sub linebacker. We'll get Dion sold him because he ain't worth 1.5 mil. That's fair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, someone get this man some Windex or something. He's he's washing his screen with saliva, bro. He's licking his hand and rubbing his screen, bro. Dude, he's licking his hand and rubbing his screen to clean it. This is nasty. This is nasty, bro. I can't look past it. I can't look away. I can't. I literally. Oh, but what's going on here? What just happened? What just happened? What? Just, why did this just pop up on my screen? What is? I can't get rid of it. Look at this article, bro. What is going on? Hey, how do I get rid of this? I'm not gonna lie. So much just happened right there. That didn't even make sense. But okay, we figured it out. I don't know what that. I don't know how that even came up on my screen. But um, to leave. Okay, is it Bucks theme team? Okay, let me focus. Bucks theme team with oh Talib was a buck, Jamel Dean Ramsey JPP, Dalvin Tomlinson uh, Dean Lowry with a uh, Quan Alexander Clay Matthews Levante David two good safeties ninety nine speed Julio ninety nine speed Jerry ninety eight speed Odell ninety nine speed Le Lenny Lenny ninety nine speed yeah wow okay that's a, he's pretty he's pretty good with ninety nine speed and Gronk as well I'm gonna get this team out of nine six. But please clean your screen with, with the dirty screen. That, that team's about a, it's probably about a five. That team's probably about a five. So next team. And then for the second channel, we're going to pick up right, right where we left off right here on Andrew's team. So um, if you want, you know, you could be the next episode too. That's dropping tomorrow on the second channel. But we got Rams theme team. Okay. And Odell, Justin Jefferson, Cooper Cup, 99 speed, Warwick Dunn, Ken Stabler. Good old line. Looking pretty good to me Fletcher as the user he's a little bit small I think Fletcher is like like linebackers are usually like bigger like 6'2 6 6'3 like Fred Warner Demario Davis Fletcher is 5'10 even with lurker on a linebacker it's tough to kind of use it with a card like that it definitely is and yes he's good probably worth running on a Washington team but I don't know if user is the option for him so we have Sandcastle here with Clay Matthews uh Nolan Cromel oh no oh yeah yeah sorry yeah he does have a theme team I was tripping I was like oh he didn't play for the Rams and I was like yeah yes he did but then we got uh, Talib, Ram Legend, Joey Porter, Rams Legend, Jalen Ramsey. Honestly, pretty good job with this team. Kind of staying true to the Rams squad as well. Um, staying true to them. You know, there's not many all-team Ken players on here. Besides his running back and his quarterback. <laughs> That's it. So uh, I'm going to give this team... Let's go with a 9-6 to finish it off today. And uh, yeah, like I said, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Make sure you're sub to the second channel. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.